Chefs, what is the beef? Welcome to another live video and today what we're talking about Unless the pain of staying the same exceeds the pain of making a change then you will always remain the same And that is the God's honest truth and I've had a number of chefs who joined the free Facebook group in the past couple of days and you know having a chat with them and just seeing where they're at and seeing how they're getting on and in a very a lot of them were in a very very dark position a lot of them were in a very very uh, a bad patch let's say uh, in their lives in their careers and the career is linked to the life if that makes sense you know these are chefs who've had 10 15 sometimes even 20 years plus experience working in kitchens and it's just ground them down to this stage now where they're at where you know vices aren't just something as a coping mechanism they're actually just their life you know what i mean that's just what they do they just drink every day you know whether that's smoking cigarettes or smoking weed every single day um, and getting absolutely annihilated just to switch off and wind down but maybe a couple of years ago these things were to wind down and right now they're just it's just what that person has programmed themselves to do as a means of coping with the day-to-day -day work life that they have it's a very 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 tough position to be in because when that becomes the the norm what tends to follow that then is going to be a really effective family life if you have a family you know you're not going to have the energy and a lot of these chefs who I was talking to they do not have the energy they do not have the headspace to to even be there with their families or talk to them or you know what I mean be the role model that they need to be in work then there's not really any push towards progress it's stagnation so they're just showing up to work and they're just going fuck just another day in paradise you know and there, there's no there's no drive forward they've been doing it for so long and they've been stuck in this rut for so long that getting out of that rut and progressing forward just seems like an impossible task and they've kind of got to a point through all of this where they're very depressed thinking about their life, you know, and they're depressed about what the future holds for them because they've poured so much into this career and into this thing and it hasn't come off for them and it hasn't led them anywhere where they want to be. And now they're stuck in a rut and they're in their late 30s, 40s with a lot of experience under their belt, but not necessarily any kind of balance and not necessarily any kind of sense of fulfillment or happiness. And I was talking to these chefs and I was like, fuck, I feel for them so much because it's it's a feeling of being lost and you don't know where you're at. You really don't. You don't know where the fuck you're at. You don't know what to do. You walk away from the career. You try and find something else. You know, you go to agency work instead of restaurant work, catering, contract catering, event catering. Um, or you just walk away and do something else completely you know, when I'm talking to them, I, 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 I always say, like, listen, I 100% I feel for what you're going through. I would always say before you make a rash decision and you walk away from the thing that you are passionate about and for a lot of chefs you know that that either are watching these videos any of you guys like <clears throat> initially you might have fallen into cooking but really it is what you're passionate about for a lot of you it is what you're passionate about and maybe through your lifestyle and what's happened through to you and all the hours that you've done and the stress and the pressure that maybe that passion has kind of been wiped away to a certain extent but the truth is you know you shouldn't do anything rash before you take a step back and let's start looking at the decisions that you're making on a daily basis this is exactly what i told these chefs it's like before you walk away before you walk away Let's let's just take a step back and look at the facts for a second. What patterns are you falling into on a daily basis? You know, and the pattern was the same across the board. The pattern was I wake up late every single morning, I hit the snooze button, and then I have no fucking time to myself and I just have to go into work again. I then drink a load of coffee and a load of Red Bull or whatever stimulants I can get to make my way through the day. At the end of that day then, I'm smoking cigarettes, all the way through taking breaks to smoke finishing up then i'll always be drinking and i'll always be smoking weed to wind myself down like that was a that was the same pattern that they were falling into every single time and as a result of the drinking and the staying up late then they ended up in a basically a rule of staying up late not sleeping well needing to snooze in the morning to make up for the shit sleep and then repeating the cycle and everything you're going through in your day stress wise is just mounting and it requires vices to wind down or get through it and I told him, I was like, listen, before you walk away, these are habits that you've built and these habits aren't going to go away easily. And if you walk away and you go to a new career, you're still going to be drinking nearly every night. You're still going to be doing all of these things. And that's the truth. So I would say, 
I'm not here to tell you that you shouldn't walk away. I'm not here to tell you that you shouldn't do something different within your career or find a different job. That's not on me to say. That's your life. That's your choice. However, I would always say let's try and make the best of the situation before you get to that stage. So if you think about breaking these bad habits and bad patterns, when I think about what needs to happen with a chef is, first off, you need to get clear on facts. You need to know exactly what you are going through on a daily basis. Like lay it all out. What vices do you actually use on a daily basis? You know, how do you feel about yourself as a result? How do you feel where you're going in your life? Where are you at with your body? Where are you at with your mind? And if you can lay all those facts out and you look at them and you go, fuck, right, pinpoint exactly. Where it's like, if I was able to cut out the drinking and if I was able to actually stop fucking smoking weed every single night to wind myself down, then maybe, you know, I would see a difference in my energy levels. And if I saw a difference in my energy levels, maybe that would free up some time in the morning. Then if I had more time in the morning, I'd go into work with a better state of mind and I'd feel like I had more balance in my life. And it's like, that might seem like a very small decision to make, but that's a huge return on investment by just looking at the facts and then pinpointing exactly what needs to go, what negative pattern you're falling into that needs work. Fix that. Then from there, it's about rebuilding things. You know, and I always say to chefs, like you'd be very surprised if you started moving every day in small doses, started replacing the bad habits with good habits, you'd be very surprised what happens to your state of mind. I guarantee you'll walk into work with a different state. I guarantee you'll carry on through your life in a different state, you know? And understand that, yeah, sure, you might make that change and then you might go to fucking move to another career, or move to agency, that's fine. But at least you know in your heart of hearts that you've made the better change and you've made the best of the situation. But you'll never get to that point, and this is the truth. Some of us want to do something, but we don't need to do something. The moment that you need to make a change in your life is where the the pain of staying exactly where you are right now and staying in this rut is the pain is so great that it actually exceeds the pain of being disciplined and overcoming all the barriers and the obstacles and the resistance in your head. Sometimes we need to be lost before we're found and sometimes we need to be broken before we're fucking put back together again. And that's the truth for a lot of us. But when you get to that point where you do feel broken, Make sure to do what you can to improve your situation first before you walk away from the situation, if that makes sense. Because you know in your heart of hearts that you've done what you can and on top of that chef, again, you could turn it around and you never know. You could turn, I've seen chefs every fucking day turn it around. Every new, every week we have new chefs walk into the elite and they turn it around. And I've talked to chefs in the worst situations you've ever heard of in your fucking life. All of us have fucking been there, you know, serious mental health problems, serious physical health implications, families ruined, careers ruined, headspace ruined. Like that's the situations that I see these chefs and they can pick themselves up and rise from the ashes using the steps I just talked about. Now, I would always recommend that you make that attempt before walking away. That's all I'm saying today. Anyway, chefs, that in mind. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Um, I always appreciate you guys jumping on live. And uh, I will catch you in the next one. Stay safe.